Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. We live in North Texas, Zone 8A. Today is March 30th. And in this video, we would like to compare two kinds of fertilizers. One of them is warm castings and the other is Espoma Organic All-Purpose Fertilizer. I've been curious about warm castings. I know a lot of gardeners like to use warm castings when they start their seedlings or to fertilize their plants. I have not been that impressed with warm castings. I used them once in the past. I did not get as good results, but I would like to give them another chance. And maybe in this video, I will change my opinion about warm castings. I'm going to use two containers that are exactly the same size. I think they're about 10 gallon containers. And the potting soil that I use here is is the reused potting soil from last year has been sitting through the winter outside so this is not an enriched or fertilized pot potting soil it's very depleted I'm going to use the same amount of organic fertilizer and the same amount of warm castings so I'll just take a couple of handfuls of organic fertilizer and put them in this container so this container will be fertilized with organic all-purpose fertilizer I think two handfuls is not enough I'll do three handfuls or maybe four even because the container is pretty large and then I'm simply going to mix the fertilizer with the soil I'll do the same with this container except I'll use warm castings and the brand that I'm using it's not any brand that I prefer it's just the one that I found online it's called back to the roots organic warm castings we're not supported by any company so two now three and four handfuls of warm castings. I'm going to mix them with the soil and I can already tell that warm castings don't look like as much as organic fertilizer, but it's okay. We'll use the equal amounts of both of them. For our tomato plants, I'm going to use Roma tomatoes that I started from seed back in January. You can tell that they are a little bit neglected. The leaves are yellowing, but it's okay. After we fertilize them in water and they grow in deeper soil, they will recover, they will green up, and the stems will get thicker and during their growing season we will be fertilizing these plants with organic all-purpose fertilizer in this container and then worm castings in this container at the same schedule probably about once a week or once in a couple of weeks and I will have to mark what container contains what fertilizer I can tell the soil is pretty dry so before I plant the tomato plant I'm going to water the hole with water just so it would be moist. And now I'm going to plant the tomato plant all the way down there. I'll make the hole even deeper than that and then plant it down there. And now I'm going to put the soil back all around the tomato. I will remove the leaves that are yellowish uh, just so the tomato would not be spending its energy on those yellow leaves. And we're done with one tomato. This container has all-purpose fertilizer. Now we'll do the same with a container that has warm castings in it. Today's May 18th and our tomatoes have grown a lot. This is the tomato, Roma tomato, that we're fertilizing with worm castings. You can see that it's doing okay, but the leaves are not very dark. And you can also see that it's loaded with fruit. So even though worm castings don't have a lot of nitrogen, that's why the leaves are light green, it still has enough nutrients for it to produce fruit and flowers. You can tell a big difference between that plant and this one, and I think I made a mistake. It's either the seeds that got swapped, or maybe a wrong seed got into the packet, or maybe I did not label the plants correctly. I was pretty sure this was a Roma tomato, but by looking at the fruit, I can definitely tell this is not a Roma tomato. I think it's an indeterminate variety of tomato because the branches are growing taller compared to this one. Usually Romas stay compact and small and indeterminate varieties keep vining. But I've been fertilizing this tomato with all-purpose organic fertilizer. You can see that it's doing really well. Now we have another Roma tomato that we're growing in a cardboard box and we're making a separate video about it. But that variety is also a Roma variety and we're fertilizing it with organic all-purpose fertilizer. So let's go look at the tomato. This is the Roma tomato that we're growing in a cardboard box and I'm fertilizing it only with an all-purpose organic fertilizer. You can see that the color is much darker and also it's much thicker. It has more branches 
It seems like the plant is much stronger and thriving better. And it's also loaded with flowers and fruit everywhere. Today is June 22nd and our plant with worm castings is doing really well. It's not as big as this plant, but the variety is different, obviously. And it has more tomatoes than this variety. And Roma tomato plant has more fruit on it than this variety, but obviously there are different varieties, so it's hard to compare them. But I can tell that this plant that has fertilizer in it is also doing really well. And and also, I did not prune it at all. It has dark green leaves, even though it is starting to get diseased because it's getting much warmer and both plants are getting stressed from the heat. And this plant is not loaded with tomatoes as much because this is an indeterminate variety of tomatoes that produce uh, tomatoes much slower than determinate variety. And I think the variety is called Cherokee Purple now that I look at the fruit of the tomato. But the leaves are certainly getting more yellow on this plant. Now with this plant that was fertilized with worm castings, I had to trim a lot of lower leaves because they all were getting so brown and yellow so fast. That's why the leaves on the bottom I pruned. But you can see how this plant on the bottom is not as heavily pruned because the leaves stayed green for much longer. So what can I say about fertilizer versus worm castings? All I can say is that I personally will keep using fertilizer because I can see that it feeds the plant and keeps it stronger and healthier for a much longer time versus worm castings. But obviously worm castings have worked well too. They do not have as much nitrogen, but they do help the plant produce fruit. Now, if you look at this plant that we are experimenting with growing in a cardboard box, you can tell that this plant is much larger. It has way more branches and much more fruit if you look at it from this side. There's way more fruit underneath the leaves here, closer to the ground, but it's also hard to compare this plant with with this container because the soil here is different. I think we use really good quality potting soil here. I've been fertilizing with organic all-purpose fertilizer. And also the shape of the container is much wider compared to this long cylinder shaped container. So it's hard to compare these two containers. But overall, I think worm castings are okay. But like I said before, I will stick with all-purpose fertilizer. I think it's more of a balanced fertilizer, even for my seedlings. If you have had success with worm castings, good for you. Well, it's been a very interesting experiment, which reaffirmed my theory on worm castings versus all-purpose fertilizer. I hope it gave you some ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.